Welcome back to Basketball Talk. I'm James Valdina and here with my co-host Cruz Ochoa and Max Stromer. Today we'll be discussing the top teams in the NBA based off of the offseason. Cruz, why don't you start? Well, I think that the top teams from the offseason coming out of the offseason are probably the Brooklyn Nets, Los Angeles Clippers, and Los Angeles Lakers. They all added big stars like Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving to the Nets, and AD going to the Lakers, also Boogie, and the Clippers getting Kawhi and Paul George. I mean, they're going to be, all three of those teams will be big contenders. Probably see the NBA Finals match with them soon. Um, I'm sorry to interrupt. We have breaking news. Warriors coach Steve Kerr resigns from his position, citing his differences with forward Draymond Green, and Mike Brown is named the interim head coach. Max, what do you have to say about this? Well, I think that Steve Kerr has been waiting to do this for a while. Although some might pe some people might think that it came out of the blue, Draymond is has an interesting personality and is not the best aspect to this team. And so that is the reason why I think Steve Kerr left. And I'm interested to see how this season's going to play out without their star coach. What about you, Cruz? I think this comes out of complete shocker. I really wouldn't understand why Steve Kerr does, does this just because of one player. I would understand if there are multiple players that they're, that he was having an issue with. It was, it was more than one. The only Draymond Green, I feel like Draymond Green, he's getting older. He's getting paid a lot of money. He just got a recent extension. And I feel like he's a great player, but I feel like him having issues with Steve Kerr isn't that big to him that he that Steve Kerr have to leave. And Mike Brown was the new coach. is very interesting. I don't know how that will work yet, but... Steve Kerr really helps get that franchise's titles, so. Yeah, I really don't think he should have resigned. I mean, Draymond Green can be a big problem in the locker and on the team, but I really feel like he should have stayed trying to work on his differences. But, like, without him, I don't think the Warriors would do nearly as well. I mean, they wouldn't be as much of a powerhouse as they were in the past, but I still think they would have been a finals contender, but without Steve Kerr, not anymore. Um, this is going to be our conclusion for Basketball Talk. For my co-host, Teresa Choi and Max Stromer, I'm James Valdino signing off.